siya na. Kanyang, I don't know, is this a diagram? Nakikita niyo na siya. So, dito pupunta yung cable tray. Tapos dun sa taas yung inverter. And then yung safety box. And then doon, yung bike na yun, aalisin namin yun. Kasi doon, ilalagay ang? Three batteries. Batteries. Ilang battery? Long. Three batteries ang ilalagay natin doon. So, from there hanggang dito, I think mapupuno siya ng mga box niya. So, may drawing sa dyan. Yun yung guide niya. Para doon sa ating inverter na nandun, eto siya. I-open na natin. Tingnan natin kung ano to. Ito yung ating inverter. May size ba doon? 6 kilowatt? 8 kilowatt. Hybrid. Finally, nailagay na natin yung ating inverter doon. So, mabigat pala siya. Kailangan ng maraming kamay para naiangat, naiangat siya dyan. So, para maging organized yung ating mga wirings, bumili tayo nitong main box na to. Yung main box na yan is just from Shopee. Binili lang namin sa Shopee yan. Ang size nito is 50 by 60. So, sa loob niyan, ilalagay natin itong mga boxes na to. This is for the AC, and ito naman for the DC. So, lahat yan. Yung dalawang yan, lalagay doon sa loob. Para yung ating mga wirings, organize pa. Para maayos ang tingnan. Our old main circuit will be divided or separated into two. A is for the heavy load. B is for the light load. So from our main circuit, nagbutas tayo. These three PVC pipes also serve as protection of ating wires and cables from our DU going to our inverter and safety boxes. Wherein, i-coconnect natin ang DU line to AC isolator switch. May on and off siya, so pag naka-on, may kuryente sa loob ng bahay. Kapag off, wala siyang kuryente. The output of the isolator switch will be connected to this box. So this box will contain four devices. First is the AC MCD, which is about 50 amps MCD. Second is the AC SPD over under voltage protection and ammeter and from this box it will go through the pvc pipe to be connected to our inverter
our DC safety devices. It has six devices, DC isolator switch, DC MCV, and DC SPD. Remember, we wired our panels in series. So we have the set A for the first string and set B for the second string. The cable coming from the PV1 doon sa ating roof will be connected to this switch. Ang purpose ng ating switch is para hindi tayo makuryente. If in case we want to do some maintenance or do some cleaning, this will ensure us that we can safely perform work on the circuit without the danger of electrocution. The output of the switch will now be connected to MCB na nakaparallel sa SPD which is connected to the grounding wire. We will have the same setup for this series. And this grounding wire will now be connected to the ground bus bar. Here is our AC box. If you will notice sa previous video natin, meron siyang ATS. Pero inalis na lang namin siya. It has 7 devices. AC MCB, AC SPD, and Multimeter. This pair of MCB and SPD is from our distribution utilities. The next pair of SPD and MCB is from the grid side naman ng ating inverter. And the last one is from the backup side of our inverter. Ang input ng MCB here ay manggagaling sa distribution utilities na nasa loob ng ating bahay. side, ang MCB input here ay nanggaling sa grid side ng ating inverter. So, ang output ng ating MCB sa DU and MCB sa grid side of our inverter ay nagsalubong. In between our MCBs, naglagay tayo ng 6-in-1 multimeter. This meter displays voltage, current, power factor, active power, electric energy, and frequency. And lastly, the input of the MCB here is from the backup side ng ating inverter. The output ng MCB na ito ay papasok sa loob ng bahay pero ang i-energize lang niya is yung mga critical loads natin like for example ang ating lights and utility sockets.
batteries. Supposedly, ilalagay natin siya sa taas. Pero since mabigat po siya, ito na lang namin siya inilagay siya sa. Ang batteries natin ay may capacity na 100 AH each and 52 volts. Ang setting na ginawa natin ay yung battery na nasa baba is the master and then yung nasa taas is the slave. On top of the master battery, meron tayong mga ports. Meron in and out. So sa in port, galing yung cable na yan from our inverter. And then the cable from the out port ng ating master battery is connected to the in port ng slave battery. And for the pins ng ating battery, since ang ating inverter ay solid, set it to 3 for the master battery and 0 for the slave. For our positive and negative battery cables, ang available lang is 25 mm, so we doubled it to make it 50. And then we connected these cables, the positive and the negative, to DC and CC. The output of the DC CCD is now connected to the inverter. That is the end of our part 2. Thank you for watching. As of writing, our solar is up and running for like in a week already. And so far, wala namang naging major problem. So I know na lahat ng connections na ginawa natin, lahat ng connection from the roof hanggang sa ating battery and our inverter ay okay. We would appreciate any of your comments and suggestions if you think na pwede pa naming ma-improve ang aming do-it-yourself solar project.